another episode of Sci Connect. I am teacher Mado, your science teacher for today. Are you now ready to learn? Let's start! This video lesson focuses on the uses of mirrors and lenses. The most essential learning competency is identify ways in which the properties of mirrors and lenses determine their uses in optical instruments such as cameras and binoculars. Before we start, let us check your prior knowledge about our topic today by answering the pretest. Read the questions carefully. Choose the letter that you think best answers the question. Write your answer in your activity notebook. 1. Which of the following uses concave lens? A. Telescopes B. Car's headlight C. Magnifying glasses D. Dentist mouth mirror 2. What type of lens is used in a magnifying glass? A. Converging lens B. Diverging lens C. Focusing lens D. None of the above B. Which of the following is an application of multiple image reflection? A. Binoculars B. Kaleidoscope C. Magnifying glass D. Car's side mirrors. 4. A car's headlight uses blank. A. Lane mirror. B. Convex mirror. C. Concave mirror. D. None of the above. 5. What kind of mirror is used in the side mirrors of automobiles and trucks? To give the driver a wider area and smaller image of traffic behind him. A. Plain mirror B. Convex mirror C. Concave mirror D. None of the above How did you find the test? Did you find it a bit harder? Worry no more for you will learn as you go along in this video lesson. Now. Are you ready for today's activity? All right, let's do this. Read the flipped words below by facing the text box in front of a mirror. Read it loud and with high confidence. Write the message on your activity notebook. Did you get the message? I hope you got it all right. Let's now explore. Identify the type of mirror used in the following device in column 2 and reason out why it is used in column 3. Flashlight In supermarket Cosmetic mirror Side mirror of vehicles And headlights of a car Write your answers in your activity notebook. And you're done answering the first activity. Let us keep this in mind. Mirrors have become part of our daily routine. At home, we normally use plain mirror. We use this to check on what's needed to be fixed on the way we look. When these plain mirrors are placed next to each other at an angle, it gives our eyes not only one image, not even two, but more than that. This is called multiple images. The mechanism of multiple images is used in the fun and colorful kaleidoscope. Here is an example of images inside a kaleidoscope. Concave mirror also known as converging mirror, has a reflecting surface which collects light 
inward and focus them on one focal point. It is used as dentist mirror, makeup kit mirror, illuminating purposes such as headlamps, flashlights, and spotlights. On the other hand, convex mirror, also known as diverging mirror, has the outer bulging surface that reflects light instead of the inner one. It has a wider view field compared to a concave mirror. This makes bigger objects appear to be smaller than their original form. It is used as cars, side mirrors, and in supermarkets and convenience stores. And we're done discussing the uses of convex and concave mirrors. Let us apply what you have learned. Identify what is defined in the following statement. You can use the jumbled letters in each item as a hint. Write your answers in your activity notebook. 1. A plane mirror is a flat surface mirror. The image formed by a plane mirror is called blank image. 2. Mirrors arranged parallel to each other can form blank image. A number you can't count. 3. A blank is a colorful optical instrument in which the mechanism of multiple image is used. 4. A convex mirror is used in car side mirror because it gives blank view, field, and concave mirrors. 5. To secure the store from shoplifters, Aside from CCTV camera, store owners hang blank on the corner. And you're done answering the first activity. Let us continue answering the next three activities in this video lesson. Explore number two. Identify what type of lens is used in the following devices. Device number one, microscope. Device number two. DSLR camera and device number 3 telescope Explore number 3 Compare the human eye and camera Supply the table with the needed information Don't forget to write your answers in your activity notebook You can pause this video for a while in accomplishing this task In comparing the human eye and camera here are the basis of comparison, the type of lens used, the type of image formed, how does light enter, what controls the amount of light, and what part receives the image. Explore number 4. Compare nearsightedness or myopia and farsightedness or hyperopia. Then answer the guide questions. Again, you can pause this video for a while in accomplishing this task. Guide questions 1. Describe the image formed by a nearsighted eye. 2. Where is the image formed? 3. What is the corrective lens used for myopic eye? 4. Describe the image formed by a far-sighted eye. 5. Where is the image formed? 6. What is the corrective lens used for hyperopic eye? Job! You're done answering the activities. Now, let us keep this in mind. Among the applications in which concave lenses are used, is found in telescopes and binoculars. Convex lenses, on the other hand, are used in compound microscopes, magnifying lens, and camera. Our eyes are our natural cameras. Some of the basic and fundamental parts of a camera functions just like how the different parts of our eyes work. Among these are the lens, the aperture, iris diaphragm, shutter, and photographic film. The lens, 
Just like the cornea of our eyes gathers and bends light rays inwardly to the camera, the iris diaphragm controls the size of the aperture to regulate the light that enters. This resembles the iris and the pupil of our eye. The shutter opens and shuts the aperture to avoid too much light exposure, thus helping the photographic film capture a beautiful image similar to the work done by the eyelids and the retina. Concave lenses such as eyeglasses and contact lenses are used in correcting myopia or nearsightedness. Nearsightedness is a vision defect caused by two long eyeballs. The image form is in front of the retina. On the other hand, convex lenses are used in correcting hyperopia or farsightedness. Farsightedness is a vision defect caused by two short eyeballs. The image formed is behind the retina. And we're done discussing the uses of mirrors and lenses. For the last time, give your final insights by completing the following sentence prompts. I have learned that. I wish to ask my teacher about. Don't forget to write your answers in your activity notebook. Now, let's strengthen your knowledge by accomplishing the reinforcement. Challenge! Make your own telescope. This activity will help you apply whatever learnings you have obtained from the discussion about lenses. Using materials that you can see around you, improvise or build your own telescope. A telescope is an optical instrument used in viewing far objects. It is the instrument that astronomers use in viewing the sky, especially at night. Now, imagine yourself as a budding astronomer who lived during the time the technology has not flourished yet. Young Galileo, please note that your version of telescope will be assessed with the following criteria. Creativity, 30%. Functionality, 30%. Application of scientific knowledge, 40%, a total of 100%. Now, young Galileo, it's time for you to build your own telescope. To assess how far have you learned from this topic, let us answer the post test. Read the questions carefully. Choose the letter that you think best answers the question. Write your answer in your activity notebook. 1. Which of the following is an application of multiple image reflection? A. Binoculars B. Kaleidoscope C. Magnifying glass D. Car's side mirrors 2. Which of the following uses concave lens? A. Telescopes B. Car's headlight C. Magnifying glasses D. Dentist's mouth mirror 3. What kind of mirror is used in the side mirrors of automobiles and trucks to give the driver a wider area and smaller image of the traffic behind him? A. Plane mirror B. Convex mirror C. Concave mirror D none of the above. 4. What type of lens is used in a magnifying glass? A. Converging lens B. Diverging lens C. Focusing lens D. None of the above. 5. A car's headlight uses blank A. Plain mirror Convex mirror C. Concave mirror D. None of the above 6. To correct nearsightedness, a person is prescribed with what kind of lenses? A. Converging lens B. Diverging lens C. Focusing lens D. None of the above 7. 
Which of the following parts of the eyes function like the aperture and iris diaphragm of a camera? A. Eyelid and cornea B. Pupil and eyelid C. Retina and cornea D. Pupil and iris The sun's rays are observed to focus at a point behind a lens. What kind of lens was used? A. Converging lens B. Diverging lens C. Focusing lens D. None of the above Vehicle side mirrors are blank. A. Plane mirrors. B. Concave mirrors. C. Convex mirrors. D. None of the above. 10. What kind of mirror is used by dentists in examining tooth cavities? A. Plane mirror. B. Concave mirror. C. Convex mirror. D. None of the above. Congratulations, learners, for finishing the video lesson. I hope you enjoyed learning with me today. Remember, learning is fun with Psych Connect.